Hello everyone, Rain here, and welcome to Welker's Farm Farming Simulator 17. This is going to be my single player series. Uh, we already kind of started this out here, bought some equipment. For those of you who watched the uh, live stream here, so we already got some equipment purchased. Uh, do have some more plans for changing out uh, the combine here yet. We'll probably get to that uh, this episode. Uh, if you missed the live stream here, uh, we got the Case 7130 combine. Like I said, I'm probably going to replace that this episode. We'll see how, it's, how much the other combine here is. Should be able to afford it. Uh, we got the big brute sprayer, which I did go in and edit this, by the way. So it now goes 15 miles an hour. Or actually, no, I think it's 16. I think I got it up to 16 miles per hour spraying. So a little bit quicker than the bloody awful 9 miles per hour. Uh, actually, no, let me get back in here so I can tab. Uh, we got a Case 2670 tractor here, just an old Case tractor. Pulling, I believe this was the International 490 disc. Uh, it does not... Uh, decals would be helpful, so I know which one this one is. I think I'm pretty sure it was the International uh, disc there. Uh, also got a John Deere 8440 with a funky camera on it. We got a uh, Great Plains... Actually, no, I might as well just hook this up here. Uh, Great Plains Cedar over here. Also note to self, need to turn off the handbrake mod. I got that active. Apparently I'll have to uh, turn that off at some point here. So this is the uh, shop area here on Welker's, by the way. Down in the uh, bottom corner of the map. And we'll just uh, leave this down here for a moment. I'll drive it up in a, a few minutes. But yes, John Deere 8440. Uh, so we are starting off with quite a bit of older equipment here. But again, we can uh, get a little bit more of it too, hopefully, by going with some of the older equipment for starters. Uh, we got the uh, Big Bud. Well, this is, oh, this is the Landall chisel plow here. <laughs> Landall 2131 chisel plow. Probably my uh, favorite in-game, or not in-game, modded chisel plow here so far. Uh, you know, it's like a proper American chisel plow. Uh, then the Big Bud HN320. Really nice looking mod, by the way. Really like the look of this. And uh, I know I got a couple comments. People were, hey, that tractor doesn't have big uh, duels on it. Um, yeah, if you look closely, yes, it does. It does have duels. Note, one tire, two tire, duels. So, yes, it does have duels all the way around. It is not singles. I know if you just look at it from a distance, oh, that kind of looks like singles. It is not. It actually is duels. Uh, let's see. What else do we got here? Uh, we bought a Ford L9000 here, uh, along with a Wilson Grain trailer. And then we're back to the combine. So that's all the equipment I'm starting with here so far. Got uh, Pretty much I sold the in-game equipment. We got roughly 900000 from that. Uh, with the equipment I bought, I've got 251000 left. It actually was more than that, but I paid down the loan too, so the loan is gone as well. Uh, we do also have a gold nugget hunt we can go on. Um, debating if I should show that on screen or not, because it is kind of a cool little hunt. Obviously, I'll get you the uh, gold nuggets there. Uh, so yes, combine. Let's uh, actually what, before we do anything with the combine, let's get started cultivating here first. Probably gonna let the uh, course player hired worker take over for that. We'll get the uh, case 2670 on that. And again, we're kind of playing this as a uh, competition here, or a challenge map against uh, Thomas McConsole here. Uh, for those of you not familiar with him, we did our PC versus console competitions with him. Uh, this time it's going to be PC versus uh, PC. Uh, McConsole there having had a PC for a few months now, thinks he's uh, joined, uh, <clears throat> correction, surpassed the Elite Master Race and wants to prove it. So we'll, uh, we'll see once how that goes. Uh, we haven't really come up with any uh, goals or challenges just yet. Uh, so probably need to work on that a little bit. Or if you folks have any goals or challenges for us, let us know. Anyway, let's uh, get started here. Do you want a hired worker or... Uh, let's give Courseplay a try. Let's see once how Courseplay does. Kind of an odd-shaped field, so I'm kind of curious to see how Courseplay handles this. Uh, start Course Recording. We're going to go over to field work mode here. Uh, if you've not used Courseplay before, I've got several how-to videos on it. 
And there is a new advanced generator here for field courses. You click that little cog gear icon there. Pretty cool. So we want field two. Field edge path number two. Working meter 9.2. Yeah, I'm assuming that's right. Current vehicle position. Yes, that actually be good. Headland around. Starting direction automatic. Headland passes. Let's do two. Headland counterclockwise. Sure. Bypass islands deactivated. Um, it's not technically an island, but I think I'm going to activate that. Simple. Circle. Uh, let's just do simple. Start working on headland pass. Yes, that sounds good. Skip rows none. Headland corner smooth. Turn to first waypoint. Multiple tools. Yeah, that should be good. Generate field course. Wait, take a moment here. Fairly good sized field. Okay, may take more than a few minutes, apparently. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay, so that's the course it comes up with. Interesting, and it's actually going at a diagonal there. I find that uh, rather interesting. Got the stop point down in that corner, obviously. I guess uh, with this type of course, it assumes it's not going to miss anything. Interesting. Or, it's, yeah, it's not going to miss anything or going to run into any of this uh, main farmyard area. I guess we'll see how this goes. Obviously, the last time I used course play single player, this wasn't quite in it yet. So it's been a while since I've used course play. We'll, uh, we'll see once how this goes here. Please wait. There we go. Oh, wants to start that way. Okay. So this isn't the biggest of cultivators here. This may take a while. But, uh, you know, course play, it can... It can uh, run all at once. Let's do the first waypoint. And if you'd kindly drive the course. That looks like you, like, completely missed the course. Uh, it is cultivating, so technically, if it misses a little bit, it's not the end of the world. Uh, I did plow the entire field. Whoa, that is okay. Oh, great course, but you're going to start with a circle. Oh, no, maybe not. really cocks that disc up, doesn't it? Okay. But yeah, like I was saying there, it is uh, plowed, so if it misses a little bit, technically not the end of the world there. Not going to worry about it. Uh, I did plow the entire field myself here uh, using the Big Bud and the Land All. Uh, I don't know exactly how long that took. It probably took a good hour, hour and a half maybe to plow this field. So this is a fairly good sized field here. I'm not entirely sure how big it actually is. Not really sure. Uh, let's see what's here. Field 2. You know, field 3 is probably pretty close. Just missing that there. How big is field 3? Field 3 is 4.9 hectares. Right. So this is probably like 4 hectares then. Which reminds me. Why is my units in hectares? It's supposed to be in acres. Oh well. I'll have to fix that sometimes. Uh, should be running the unit convert mod here. So I should have stuff in uh, acres and bushels and all that uh, good stuff. Not in liters and hectares. Uh, actually, you know what? I'm going to go check that a minute. We're going to look into this. Why is that not working for me? We'll be right back. Okay, and we're back here. Let's uh, try that again. There we go. 12.13 acres. So acres instead of uh, hectares. So again, that probably leaves us, I don't know what, 10, 9, 9 acres maybe. Uh, field 2. So again, that's the only uh, field we start with on this map. Uh, again, if you watch my live stream and my kind of introduction video to this, you probably already know that. So anyway, we got uh, the case working on cultivating there. Oh, you know what? He should have an estimated time remaining. Uh, 1 hour and 32 minutes. So it's going to take him an hour and 32 minutes to do that. Wow, that is going to take some time. Okay. He's also going to miss the corners, isn't he? Oh, well. Like I said, it is plowed, so not too worried about that. Anyway, back to the main farm here, which uh, is supposed to, by the way, represent the actual farm yard on Welker's Farm. Again, Welker's Farm is a real-life farm out in Shelby, Montana. Uh, if you've not seen their videos, you should definitely go uh, check them out on YouTube. It's Welker's Farm. You can see some, uh, I think they mostly live stream, uh, but they do have some videos as well, and they're probably best known for 
their Big Buds, Big Bud restorations, and uh, as well as their new modification, uh, the Big Brute. So kind of cool. We actually got the Big Brute here in the game as well. Uh, it is a sprayer, by the way. Well, let's, uh, as I mentioned there when we started, let's uh, change out our combine here. Uh, we'll, we'll sell the combine here for starters at least, and I'm not going to bother taking it down to the shop. I know we get a little more money that way, but meh. And over to combines here. Uh, there is a case combine, the 240, I believe it is. I thought we'd uh, give it a try. Again, with the size of this map, not starting uh, with a small combine here. So uh, let's see what's here. Probably forgot to, uh, oh, did I forget to activate that one? Maybe I did. Oh, well, we can uh, get it next episode then. Oh, I did activate. That's the reason uh, my acres wasn't working, by the way. I forgot to activate the unit convert mod. And then I also deactivated the handbrake while I was in there as well, too. Got rid of that. Okay, so we got 581,000. Uh, I guess I better not spend that. I was going to look at maybe uh, spending, you know, getting the combine and see how much we had left to uh, get some more equipment here. But better hold off on that. Let's uh, start spraying here then. And check what I got done here already. I did do a little bit, so yes. I got two passes done on this side. And it should obviously go much, much quicker here than it was during the live stream. So for those of you not familiar with the Big Brute here, uh, Big Brute was originally, I believe it was a Case Titan sprayer. Which uh, Welkers there took it, uh, modified it, and uh, turned it into the Big Brute, so they got an original Big Bud hood on it. Uh, the rest of it, though, is pretty much just Case Titan. And let's uh, lower that down here. Oh, yeah, it's much better. 16 miles an hour. It might be a little fast. That's actually probably pretty close to real life. At least with most normal sprayers, anyway. The uh, sprayer on the back, if I remember correctly, it was a 100 foot New Holland tow behind sprayer. So they basically took, uh, I think it was a spreader, if I remember correctly, on the Case Titan. They took that off and put a New Holland sprayer on the back of it here. And it does have 100 foot booms. Uh, that's the reason for the name, by the way. 425, 100, big brute. The 425 is the engine horsepower. The 100 is the width of the arms on here. The spraying arms, 100 foot. So not exactly the biggest uh, spraying arms you can get, but uh, pretty close. Annual 100 foot. That'll get the uh, job done pretty quickly. The uh, sound, by the way, to my understanding, for this big brute uh, actually was recorded by Nick Welker himself as he was running the big bud. So that was uh, kind of cool. So these are realistic sounds as to what it actually sounds like. Out of curiosity, yes, you can apparently hire a worker for this. Wasn't sure if that had been uh, set up or not. Uh, that's the one thing I noticed with the land all there. Kind of one, maybe little complaint I have. Uh, that land all, you cannot hire a worker on it. So we can use horse play with it. I'll just have to uh, keep that in mind in the future. A lot of times, that's how I like to play it. Uh, I'll start the job myself. Uh, we'll get a little ways into it. It's like, okay, let's uh, move on, do something else, hire a worker. Can't do that with that one, unfortunately. Also, as a reminder, if anybody would like to uh, join us on a multiplayer on this map, we do have our multiplayer server up with Welker's Farm as well. Uh, that is server one under the R.D. Allen multiplayer servers there. All you have to do is join us on TeamSpeak, and once you're on there, we got a download link for all the mods, uh, passwords for the server, how to find the server, all that uh, good information. You know, of course, if you're having any troubles, you can uh, contact myself or any one of the other admins on there. 
We'll try to assist you in uh, any uh, trouble you might be having joining. But yeah, if you want to join us on Welkers, again, that is server one. And we got quite a few of uh, the uh, Big Bud mods on there. Also running the Big Bud DLC. Obviously, definitely running the Big Bud DLC single player here. That is for sure, but we're also running it multiplayer. Again, given uh, this map, it just seems appropriate to run that particular DLC. Good DLC, too, by the way. Definitely highly recommend the Big Bud DLC if you don't have it. This, I believe, is a longer kind of half the field here, so we're getting this done really quickly. Uh, even in the cab here, uh, that, I guess that uh, GPS unit there is actually real life to what it actually is in the uh, real big group. And that is a real image on it as well, supposedly. So that's kind of cool. But yeah, we're going 16.2 miles per hour. There's the case coming around the bend. Yeah, like I was saying, I'll have to uh, wait and make sure I have that other combine active there. Uh, and we'll probably uh, purchase that, see how much money we have left, and uh, maybe look at getting uh, some additional uh, cultivation or even planting equipment there. Uh, we do only have the one field, but uh, still the one field here is going to take, well, like I said, probably took about an hour and a half there to plow it. It's going to take an hour and a half, according to course play there, to cultivate it. And the uh, cedar, I believe, is 9 meters as well, so we can presume it's probably going to take an hour and a half to plant it as well. So four and a half hours just to get this field done. So if we can uh, double up our equipment, we can probably half that time. And then as I was saying, there's the big, or not the big, uh, the gold nuggets as well. So if you'd like to see me do that on screen, let me know. Otherwise, I might do it off screen. Again, I don't really want to give any way hints to it, but it is kind of a cool little gold nugget search in this game. Not very uh, creative on the uh, mod alters part there. Again, Mapper's Paradise for coming up with that. That was pretty cool. Uh, but if we do that, that should give us uh, an additional million dollars which I'd probably put to all into a uh, field. Again, most of the fields on here are like a million dollars, so expensive fields. Oh, let's uh, finish this half the field here first, I guess. Oh, and we're probably going to have to get some more spray, aren't we? Don't look like we're going to quite have enough. It'll be close. And we'll uh, read some comments here a moment. Uh, Sherry was saying hello. Cooper was saying the uh, John Deere 4320 actually does sound like that. Uh, Graham was saying loving it. Talking about Welker's farm. The uh, one complaint I probably have heard about this map so far, and that's the fact it doesn't have many of the additional things that you can do in Farming Simulator. Uh, for example, there is no animals in this map. Uh, again, if you're not familiar with Welker's Farm, and more specifically that region, uh, the Montana region there, it is big grain farming. So I don't know if there's much in the way of animals out in that area anyway. 
So this map is uh, very realistic in that sense. So it is pretty much all fields on this map. I believe I did that section there already. Check the map. Yes, I did. Uh, Kentucky Farm was saying I've never seen a drill like that in real life with a fertilizer tank on it. Uh, pretty much all planters, uh, as far as I know, have uh, fertilizer tanks or fertilizer options of some sorts on them, typically. Even the uh, big air drills usually have a fertilizer tank. go. Uh, Gravadrius? Probably did not pronounce that name right. Was saying, uh, I would love to join the server. Uh, internet just is not good enough at the uh, moment. Uh, he was saying his connection. He's on Wi-Fi apparently and the router is across the house and up a floor from the uh, computer. Actually being up a floor is actually to my understanding a good thing if I remember correctly. The higher the router the Wi-Fi is the better. Uh, to some extent anyway. But this is a uh, suggestion I have uh, mentioned uh, before. Uh, if you want to figure out if your Wi-Fi is at fault for your internet being uh, poor or dropping, being not so good, uh, do a speed test on your Wi-Fi connection. Then uh, turn off your Wi-Fi. Go plug your computer into directly into your router and then do a speed test that way. Uh, if the results are different, i.e. your tests on your Wi-Fi connection are terrible, uh, you know your Wi-Fi is at fault. If, however, the results are the same, uh, possibly your internet is at fault, or potentially the computer is at fault as well. Could be both, but that's a good way there to test and uh, see what's if your Wi-Fi is at fault for your uh, internet woes. Okay, I was saying, love the tractor. It just sounds. It's just so pretty. Uh, actually, not talking about this. This is not a tractor, by the way. This is a big root sprayer. Uh, but Caleb's actually talking about the uh, John Deere 9570RX. Whoa, hello. Hello, Case. Wasn't expecting to see you there. We'll just uh, wait till he goes past here. I do have three levels of fertilization on, by the way. And we're also running with periodic plowing, so every third time we'll have to plow the fields. Debated going down to one level of fertilization, but that seemed a little too easy because then typically your seeder can fertilize, so that takes care of that. You know, if there's an option for two levels of fertilization, I would probably just like automatically go for that. That's not really an option. ID Gaming and St. Walker's Farm, they have 5,000 acres. And keep up the great work. Thank you very much for that. 5,000 acres, that sounds high. And that is definitely a lot of acres. Uh, Sean was asking, what is the mod that uh, shows you gallons and bushels? The mod that shows me gallons and bushels, that is the unit convert mod off American Eagle Modding. Again, ooh, we're going to make it to the end here. we got 50 gallons left. It's going to be close. Uh, Saint was wondering if there will be a finished version of the Welker's Farm map. 
Uh, Welker's Farm map is, as far as I know, finished. You know, unless they maybe find something wrong with it and do some updates for it. But it is finished. So this is the finished version. You can get it on the Farming Simulator Mod Hub. It is available for the PCs and the consoles. Okay, so we are going to need some more spray, aren't we? The uh, folding up of the arms here, by the way, apparently that's not the way it folds up in real life. I think it actually is two sections, if I remember correctly, instead of three sections. But apparently there's some uh, limitation in the game here that prevents uh, that from working, so they got it uh, as three sections. Uh, Damien was saying hello. Keyman was saying awesome videos. Keep uh, keep the videos coming. Thank you very much for that. Uh, Caseman was saying Walkers uses a Case Combine and a blue Peterbilt. Well, we got a red Ford L9000. Uh, Bill was saying on house. Whoa, look out for that little bush. Right. Really look out for the little bushes there. They are very bad with their collisions. And I mean very bad. Uh, Bill was saying blue bedroom upstairs that we just finished. Uh, had a little bit of dirt by the window according to the mini-map. Which, uh, yeah, unfortunately I completely missed that, didn't I? Uh, Luke was asking, can you drive cars in House Flipper? No, you cannot. Uh, for those all asking where the storage is, by the way, the storage silos, they're actually the silos down here on this uh, kind of, I don't know, secondary farm area here. I don't really know what, uh, what you call this, the storage area. Uh, also the seed and fertilizer here as well. Uh, Burn was also asking, what about the uh, bushels mod? Again, that is the unit convert mod. Steven was saying good videos. Thank you very much for that. Curious how much this actually holds here. 1,637 gallons. That is a weird number. Unfortunately, I don't remember how much the uh, big brute holds in real life. If anybody remembers, you can put it down in the comments there. I'd like to say it was 1,000 gallons, not 1,637.9. Again, that's just a weird number. Also in real life, apparently the big brute does go faster, by the way. I'd like to say it's like 50 miles per hour or something like that, give or take. Uh, in the game here, again, apparently due to limitations, it only goes 37 miles per hour. Well, let's see once how much time the cultivating tractor there has left on it. I'd like to uh, start planting right behind it, but... Uh, Got to have some done first before I start. And then the fact that he's going at an angle, too. That'll, uh, that'll definitely make things interesting as well. Okay, let's get the uh, booms spread back out here almost to where we left off. We'll finish up the field. And then it'll probably be time to wrap up the episode on that note as well. I guess we can lower it back down here as well. That's probably a good thing to note. Looks like it does raise itself up before it uh, folds in. That would definitely be uh, good. 
That'd be rather uh, catastrophic there for these arms if they were to uh, fold in where they're at uh, right at this point. Okay, there we go. They can uh, pull back in then. Oh, where's the cultivating tractor at? That's actually a good question. I have not seen him. Oh, there he is. Other interesting that uh, course plays actually going on a diagonal like that. Again, I know I mentioned that when we first uh, set up the course there. I'm kind of curious to see what's, how that's going to work out. I'm assuming course plays going that way so it can uh, avoid this main farmyard area. Let's see if that actually happens or not, or if I'm going to have to uh, pull them off one of the buildings here. Kind of curious about that. Anyway, on that note, folks, with that, we're going to wrap it up here. A uh, reminder, too, if you'd like to uh, join us on multiplayer on this, uh, join us on server one there. Uh, TeamSpeak information is in the description below. Just uh, join us on TeamSpeak, and once you're on there, you'll get all the information for joining the Farming Sim server. But, yeah, with that, you folks have any comments or questions, be sure to leave them below. And, as always, thanks for watching, and until next time.